So, uh, remember that bear I killed back in October? I'm very excited to uh, smoke a ham. Uh, some of you will notice I left the, the shank on here. It was a young bear, so I don't anticipate the shank being that tough. Plus, in a, in a slow smoke recipe, it, it should be falling off the bone when I get done. A uh, very simple recipe here for, for a smoked bear ham. I, I got my smoker. Um, because I'm short on time, I got two gallons of water boiling. If you remember from Chemistry 101, you got a super saturated solution. If you bring it to temperature, the, the sugar and, and whatnot will dissolve much quicker than at room temperature. So, I got two cups of brown sugar, two cups of kosher table salt, about a tablespoon of black peppercorns, two tablespoons of mustard seed, eight garlic cloves. Here, I, I pre-crushed these to sort of get that aromatics out. Some bay leaves. I'm not a huge fan of bay leaves, but they're a good cover set for sick of deer, but I'll throw those in there anyway. And then, then the key thing here that, that most of you might not have is this is a Prague powder number one. I picked this up on Amazon. It, what it is, it, it's a curing or pickling salt. It has some nitrites in it. I'm not always a huge fan of nitrites, but uh, for today's recipe, I'll certainly relent. It's, it's one and a half tablespoons of that. I'm gonna dump all this in our two and a half gallons of water. Let that cool down, because I, you know, I certainly don't want to poach the bear. Let it cool down, I'll put it in the refrigerator, then I'll put the bear in there, and I'll inject the bear with this brine. I'm gonna leave it for 48 to 72 hours, and then comes the smoking. All right, it's bear day. Got my uh, frozen bear fat that I was able to uh, scan off the hide here. I'm gonna cut this up in small chunks. It's still partially frozen, that's good. I can help slice off uh, any meat that's left on there, and I'm gonna stick it in the crock, crock pot on uh, low heat for a couple hours and extract the bear fat. Hopefully we'll have a maybe a quart of bear grease. It was a small bear, not expected much, but uh, I'll take what I can get. All right, got the bear fat in the crock pot. Got the crock pot set to high. I'm actually gonna turn it down to low. This uh, fat has a very low melting point. And hopefully in about an hour or two, I'll have maybe a quart of bear grease. All right, we're about an hour into it. You see the bear fat rendering out there in the crock pot. I already pulled some out here and uh, sifted it through. So far, I have rendered out a little bit over a pint. Um, you can see I still got more in the, in the crock pot going here. I'm actually gonna leave this on low and let it go overnight. And hopefully I can get some more out and won't damage bear fat. Now, you notice the differences in color here. It's because one smaller batch here I did in the frying pan and the high heat, you know, and the low smoke point of the bear, bear grease, you know, uh, changes hydrocarbons a bit and it's a little dark. That, that batch might not last as well versus the the batch here I did on slow heat, I'm going to let it cool and tomorrow it'll be a solid, but either way that looks pretty slick. It's a nice uh, opaque color and I can't wait to use it. There's so many ideas I, I have for this. So pretty excited and again I still uh, have some left. I don't know how we can see it my shadow in there. I'm going to let it sit overnight because it's late and I don't have time to stay up and let it all render out. Alright, it's bee day, bear day. I uh, can't wait to smoke this guy. I've had him uh, sitting in the brine greater than 72 hours. We're gonna take it out of here. He's, he's been down the refrigerator. The brine I showed you how to make the other day. We're gonna dry him off. Oh, got a bay leaf on him there. Let him dry off a little bit. Oh man, that looks great. Hopefully this brine has penetrated all through the bear, the bear ham. I'm gonna dry him off here. I'm gonna pat him dry and put a little crust on him. There's still a hair there. Uh, pat him dry, put a little crust on him with salt, pepper, and uh, maple syrup. And then we're gonna put him in the smoker. Okay, we got our bear ham here. It's padded dry, looking great. A couple of peppercorns stuck to it, which is fine, so I'm actually gonna put a salt, pepper, and uh, maple syrup crust on it. That should be good. We're gonna leave it in the smoker um, until the internal temperature gets up to 160 degrees. This is because some bears can carry trichinosis. This is a young bear. I doubt he had trichinosis, but either way, just to be safe, we're gonna make it, we're gonna smoke it until we get internal temp of 160 degrees next to, next to the femur bone. I imagine that's going to take about six to eight hours. We're going to smoke it at 225 degrees for the first couple hours. Then I'm going to drop the temp down and slow cook it maybe at 180 degrees. Um, so I'm going to start off here. Got some real maple syrup I picked up at the store last night. And we're going to lather it in maple syrup and then salt and pepper to make a real nice crust, sweet, sweet salty crust on the outside. And uh, man, I can't, can't wait to see how this guy's going to turn out. One side down there. Get that lather all over him and then just a nice salt crust on top of that I don't worry about the outside too much because I mean you got a lot of surface area um, that this is not gonna, all gonna obviously penetrate we don't want it to be too salty but a nice salty crust on the outside would be good salty sweet crust flip it over and get this to the other side 
We got the syrup here. And we gotta go back and get the pepper too. So get that all nice and even all over the meat here. We'll throw it here on our grill rack and this baby's gonna be ready to go. Oh man, it's already looking good. My imagination, uh, really interested to see what this guy's gonna look like in a couple hours, but right now I think it's gonna turn out pretty good. All right, we got the smoker rolling here. See the smoke coming out of it. I uh, use a mix of apple and peach wood for this. Got a set of 225. Uh, I'm gonna crank it open here for the bare uh, ham on the rack and see what we got. Stand back a little bit, a little smoky here, which is good. All right. Bare ham going in. See you in eight hours, guys. <laughs> Maybe six. Whenever it's done, get it going. Lock the door there and looking forward to this this should be good all right update uh, not the update I want to give we're about four hours into cooking and my brand new master belt smoker as you can hear it is not working right something's not clicking on sadly I try to contact master belt and they uh, their customer service is you know you can't even get through to them it's a computer chat and some bot or whatever so another piece of crap that Bass Pro sells um, I should have known better than try to buy something to buy from them or master built so buyer beware what a piece of junk and now i potentially have a ruined bear ham i think i'm gonna try to finish it in my oven because it did smoke for a couple hours but uh yeah what a piece of junk all right hi uh i'm here in my kitchen now not outside at my smoker uh master built you suck there's no nice way to say that uh i'm finishing this ham in the oven i stuck my meat thermometer in next to the femur and it was at 140 so that should be good enough to get rid of trichinosis. I'm just, for safety's sake, going to finish it at a 225 in my own oven. Still had a nice smoky flavor to it, but, you know, my, my new smoker malfunctioning an, an hour and a half into it is more than irritating. And the fact that Master Built has no active customer service is, is just typical of a lot of companies these days. But anyway, their products suck. I'm not going to buy any of their crap again. I'm going to take the smoker back to Bass Pro which I should have known, Bass Pro sucks too. Uh, it's partially my fault for buying their junk. I guess that's what I get. So anyway, any folks from Traeger want to hook me up, <laughs> I'm interested, but I'll probably get one of your products either way. Um, I'll give you a look at the bear ham right now, and my wife's going to take it out because i got to run because I wasn't anticipating a three-hour delay because of the smoke are breaking. All right, here's the final product. I, uh, I had to step out and leave for a while, but my wife found the internal temples at 153 by the, by the bone, so... It's done, it looks great, smells great. I can't wait to try this. All right, we got our uh, bear ham here. I'm actually cheating a little bit. I cooked this two days ago, stuck in the fridge. Um, we tried it, it was fantastic. Maybe the best game meat I've ever had. So we're gonna carve it up now, it's Christmas day and we're gonna have ourselves a Christmas ham. I'm excited. Um, if you come in close here, just get an idea of what we're looking at. It is as good as any smoked ham I've ever had. Again, I cut a sliver off the other day. Just to give you an idea of what we're looking at. Look at that. The brine soaked all the way through. And it is tender and moist and smells fantastic. So I'll uh, touch base here when we try it. Like I said, I tried a sliver the other day, so I'm sort of cheating. But here, let me, let me cut a slide out here. And voila. Very nice, tender, moist inside. Still, even I had to reheat it. Everything about it looks awesome. All right, got it all uh, carved up here, aside from the shank. We might save that for, for uh, meat bone for soup. But uh, as you can see, I mean, it, it looks fantastic. It's, it's like meat candy. I mean, this stuff is it's great. Best wild game I've ever had. And that's saying a lot, because I've had a lot of good stuff. So very happy to serve this, and I think everyone's going to enjoy it. So take care. Merry Christmas, everyone.